Hello. Today we're going to take a look at the BMPG's Blue Down Mark II launch control post and target illuminating radar. The Blue Down Mark II missile system was a key part of the UK's integrated air defences during the Cold War. It entered service with the RF in 1964 and was withdrawn in 1991. Commercially it was very successful, selling to Switzerland, Sweden and Singapore. For its time, Bloodhound was an advanced and capable defence system, able to engage targets at high and low altitude at long range. It was particularly effective against electronic countermeasures. A complete firing unit consisted of a launch control post, a target illuminating radar and eight launchers loaded with missiles. The radar is a Type 86, also known as Firelight and Indigo Corkscrew. Its main functions were 1 to acquire and automatically track a target so that the missile could home onto the reflected radar signal. Two, to supply target data to the LCP for use by the computer and the engagement controller. And three, to transmit command signals from the LCP to the missile in flight. The aerial assembly was steered in elevation and azimuth to acquire and track targets. Small scan patterns were used to acquire targets at known coordinates. Alternatively, Large areas of airspace were searched for targets using wide scan patterns. Several aerials are mounted on the aerial assembly. The orange peel shape reflected to the left is the receiving aerial, the large dish is the transmitting aerial, the cheese shaped object on the far right is the in flight reference aerial, and the circular object between the receive and transmit aerials is the jamming assessment aerial. The launch control post was the operational control centre of the missile section and accommodated the engagement controller and technical supervisor. The engagement controller controlled all missile section operations while the technical supervisor monitored all of the equipment and system functions in support of the engagement controller. The main functions of the launch control post were 1. To process data from the radar to establish a firing solution and to allow jamming assessment. Two, to prepare missiles for firing, three, to provide interlocking to ensure that firing occurred only when all predetermined conditions were fulfilled, four, to initiate the firing sequence, and five, to provide in-flight control of missiles via commands transmitted by the radar. In the mid-80s, the computer and control consoles were replaced. A realistic simulator function was also incorporated to allow the engagement controller and technical supervisor to hone their skills. The BMPG has painstakingly restored the simulator to full working order and it is now in regular use. In future videos we'll look at the LCP and radar in more detail and see the simulator in action. In the meantime, enjoy the photos. For more information, visit bmpg.org.uk